Let's say you just purchased a Harley Davidson live wire. During the walk around, the tech is talking about maintenance, 1K services, blah, blah, blah. You're not really listening. You just want to ride. You leave the dealership and ride straight to Lake Minnetonka. Purple Rain is your favorite movie, and you want to stand where the late artist, formerly known as Prince, once stood formerly. By yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Jacksonville, Atlanta, Memphis, Springfield. You're getting closer. St. Louis, Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, and boom, you're in the great state of Minnesota. You look at your odometer and remember something about a 1K service. Startled, you noticed you've traveled nearly 1,500 miles and you're overdue. No problem. You then head to your nearest certified HD service apartment and say, I need a 1K. This is Sean. Sean is a certified live wire technician who's worked at Burt's, formerly Jim's, for over 16 years. He knows more about the live wire than anyone in the dealership, and he's going to be the one doing the 1K on your bike today. The first 500 live wire owners get what is called the first strike. They get an emblem or a badge for their charging port door, and they also get a plaque to hang on their wall at home. My name is Sean O'Connor, service technician here at Burt's Barracuda, Harley Davidson. Today we're going to go through a thousand mile service check on the 2020 Harley Davidson Livewire. So basically, I'm going to I'm going to do electrical system check. Front brake and rear brake and horn check. So it looks like our electrical system is functioning properly. De-energize the battery and continue with the service. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> this is a tool you never want to need. This tool is in case there is an accidental shock involved, that tool will remove the person being accidentally shocked to death safely. <laughs> So now I got the TCU disconnected and they wanted you to wait two minutes to have it completely powered down. I'm gonna move right into preparing for the gear oil service. We gotta come over here and remove, remove the 12 volt battery, which has nothing to do with the powertrain, but it has to do with powering up the, the dashboard, the turn signals and stuff like that. This is also where they hide the siren if you had an accessory siren in here. As always, you want to disconnect the negative post first from any battery, then disconnect the positive terminal. And when you reconnect it, you want to reconnect the positive terminal first. Really lightweight lithium battery. I'm removing it to remove the battery tray to gain access to the gearbox, which is where we will be draining the gear oil, which is done at the 1,000 mile service and I believe at the 20,000 mile service. Now, before I started this, the service, I uh, I took the live wire for about a 10 mile, 10 mile ride. And the reason I did that was to uh, get the gear oil up to an operating temperature to help drain it. In order to drain the gear oil, you must remove this outer cover. This right here is the fill spout. Now, there's no drain plug on the bottom. Like I said, you have to remove this cover and then the oil just pours out of there. Now, there's a gasket in here, which you'll see here momentarily.
There it is. There's the, the filler plug. There's a little magnetic plug, I believe. Yep. To catch anything that might be running around in there, which we don't want to see. But there's our gear case and our gasket is inside the inside the little groove here, which I got a new gasket and and fluid. Here's our new gasket. And here's the lifeblood of this rear drive. EV gear oil. There's no way I can pour this in there, obviously. So I got this makeshift fluid bottle that I'm going to use to fill her up. And you fill it to the bottom of the, the fill spout. It's got to be completely oil free. You don't want any oil to get on the new gasket. Could create a leak, could prematurely swell the gasket and make it not fit well in the groove. And I just like to have nice clean reassembly. Basically, it's a cross pattern to equally clamp the cover down evenly so it doesn't warp the cover and or put the gasket in a bind. 71 to 89 inch pounds is not very much at all. I am very lightly seating them right now and then I'll get the torque wrench to finish them off. Oh, gotcha. The bolts aren't made for high torque. Mm -hmm. The bolt themselves can handle the torque, but the, the threads could be damaged in the case and a high torque is not not necessary in this application so basically what i just did i lightly snugged them compressing the gasket slightly and now i'm going to do the final torque with the torque wrench Got the gear case cover torqued, prep ready to go. And now I got the EV gear oil, only available at Harley Davidson dealerships. Earlier I thought the the gear oil came in a quart container, but it's only 12 ounce, so it's going to take the majority of this. So we got the fluid level at the bottom of the fill spout here. New O-ring, magnetic plug. Reinsert the plug. The torque on the fill spout is 22 to 26 foot pounds. Gearbox is reassembled. Now all I have to do is reinstall the, the battery compartment, the battery itself, the battery cover, and of course, drop down the wires that I had previously zip tied up and out of the way. Check the front tire pressure, rear tire pressure, inspect the brake fluid reservoir, front and rear. Uh, check the dot four brake fluid for moisture. If it's over 3%, definitely 4%, the system needs to be flushed. Basically, other than doing some electrical checks, tire pressures, brake pads, 
uh, lighting, which we did earlier in the video. Uh, check belt deflection and uh, steering head bearings and test ride and pretty much completed our 2020 Livewire 1K service.